This is part four of a five-part series called Ghost Hunting at Wolf Creek Inn. These series do stand alone on their own, but if we want to get the whole story, go back and watch the other one, two, and three, and then watch the last one, part five. Right is down, but it's not. Oh, it is, right, yeah. There we go, now I can see. Like, I'm so pretty, where do you want me to look? I'm gonna take a picture and send it to Melinda. <laughs> So there's a lot of stories about hangings out here at Wolf Creeks, and we think that if there was any hangings, that this this could be the tree right here, because this is like a perfect hanging tree. Okay, so you've gotten a chance to see the beautiful backyard yeah. here at Wolf Creek Inn. Now we're going to walk through it at night and listen to a time when I picked up something that was a little bit scary. Come check it out with me. What's your guys' name? I'm Joe. You're going to want to turn the volume up all the way here. What the hell was that? Let's listen again really close. This is Janelle Meadows. And this is Nikki Layton. These ladies were some of the staff at Wolf Creek Inn. They were both a fountain of knowledge. They told us many fascinating stories about Wolf Creek Inn. I'm going to take pieces of their interview and put them throughout the video just to keep things interesting. Okay, now we're going to show you something interesting. Some orbs we got here at Wolf Creek Inn. These strange blue floating lights. Check it out. So, okay, so now we have to come down. We're going back up there. Okay, it's gone. And if we start from over here, down on the floor, so they come up, oop, oh, one way. Now it's on Victor. It's totally right there on Victor. <laughs> Now it's on Lance. Okay, here, look, right there it is. Look, it's the biggest day right there. Yeah. And like you move it forward, and there it goes over here. Get it on the skeleton. It's so weird. Oh yeah, it's there. So I was in the basement and I was the only person here. Everybody checks out by 11. And um, the innkeepers had left. They went to go shopping and stuff and I was the only person in the building. The ranger wasn't here, and nobody was here, and I could hear someone walking up and down the guest hall when I was in the bathroom, and then I could hear somebody enter the room above me, but the door never opened. So, and I was like, <laughs> so I was kind of like, hmm, so I came upstairs just to make sure, you know, but there there was absolutely nobody here, nobody. Wow. And um, then uh, in the basement all the time when I'm down there, I see someone walk by out of the corner of my eye, and uh, just a few days ago when I was in the basement, you can hear somebody walking down the stairs. Um, they're very, very loud, but there was nobody there. 
you know, so, and on another occasion, um, actually I believe it was Janelle and I, um, first we went through the kitchen, I heard someone walking around, so I went into the kitchen, and um, there was no one there, and I came back out through the dining room, and the uh, lights were flickering, quite like really fast, like almost like strobe light th flickering, and you know, it's an old house, old houses creak, you know, but it, it wasn't, you know, and then we came upstairs, and I spoke to a couple who had asked me about the dog barking all night long, and we didn't have a dog in the inn that evening, and then they said that they had gone over to the deck, and um, they seen something, but then when they came back through the, the ballroom, that the lights were flickering in the ballroom also, and that was the same day, and on another occasion, I was, um, in the, actually this just happened, in the room two downstairs, I was making the bed and I always leave the doors open and the door closed on its own. Dude, this place is freaking me out. Hey Joe, I think something bad happened in here. So what's your name? I'm Janelle. Janelle, how long have you worked here at Wolf Creek? I want to say about almost two months now. Okay, and just already in two months, what have your experiences here been? Pretty interesting, honestly. So walking through it, you wouldn't know it, but it definitely has got that feel of hauntedness. When you walk past something, something's walked past you, and you're like, whoa, hey, what was that? Do you know what it was? No, but do you see it? Yes. Can you see it? Completely, I don't want to say yeah, but out of the corner of your eyes, you definitely can see something haunted. Um, and my husband is a non-believer, but recently he was like, you know, I have to be honest with you, I've seen someone walking in the hall. <laughs> and I'm like, I told you. <laughs> I need a video of it, okay. Well, All right, there we go. It's just different. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay, so. So what we're seeing right here is kind of a faint outline of a woman there. So if you look, don't touch that. If you look right here, if you look right here, oops, look right here, you can see the, the woman. Is that what you're seeing? Yeah. That's okay. what we're seeing. Okay. okay, I think we've got it on video a little bit. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see. Well, if you want to read do that part a couple of times. I can sort of see here. I think I see her right there. You know, you could use a little pointer. Oh, the laser pointer. Yeah, yeah it's, it's better that yours is actually weak because mine would. Okay, so let's, like I'm gonna go get it out of my room. So, what we are seeing here, oops, is right there. It's kind of an outline of a woman. It's even better. You can see that. I think we have something on camera there. Looks pretty interesting. I do know that that um, several people have said that they've seen a woman in old time garb hanging on the porch up there. Well, we're not allowed to be on the porch anymore. After we saw that silhouette of the woman, I started looking at the windows to see where it was coming from. As the moonlight was showing through that window right there over the table, it was projecting that image over here where the light switch is right there. If you look through this window right there, you can see it's a little warped. We're gonna show you that again. Take a look at this window. It's the second one up from the bottom. And you can see just like how the warped the uh, the light is when it comes through it. It's almost like, because that's an original window. It's been there for like 130 years. I wonder if it's possible that someone's soul got trapped in that window. Like a soul might get trapped in a mirror. Let's take one more look at it and just see how warped it is right there. Look at that. It's pretty interesting.